Hey guys, what's up? Hassan here. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks round about uh, Poco X4 Pro. And if you have a Poco, Redmi, or Xiaomi phone, and even Black Shark phone running MIUI 12 or 13, you can use all the tips and tricks which I will show you in this video on your own phone too. So let's start. Here we go, we, I've got here the Poco M4 Pro 5G. It's a beautiful, nice phone. Here's my favorite, the Poco X4 Pro. And here, here is my daily driver, my Poco F3. So today I will show you all the tips and tricks on the Poco X4 Pro, but you can do it to on all MIUI devices out there, including Poco, Redmi, Xiaomi, and Black Shark. And here we go to display. Then to refresh rate and activate 120 Hz. If you want to have a better uh, battery capacity, you can go for 60 Hz and you will save battery. On the Poco F3, I am always using 60 Hz because of if I turn on the 120 Hz. Um, the battery doesn't last <coughs> doesn't last long but on the X4 Pro 5G I don't have this problem I can use 120 Hz and uh, the battery lasts so brightness level you need to activate sunlight mode if you don't use auto brightness you can activate uh, sunlight mode and the brightness will adjust automatically if um, the sun shines on your sensor so that you can see much more. This one has 1200 I think peak brightness compared to my Poco F3 which has 1300 nits and let's go to always on display because of um, Poco used an AMOLED panel here which is very identical to the one used in the Poco F3 you can use always on display let's activate one and write here something Poco rocks. So, Poco rocks. Apply. And now you see the always on display with the Poco rocks text on it and my emoji. We can also select much more pre-applied, pre-set up templates like this one and customize it. So let's go back. You have here the mode race to wake up. Let's activate it. As you can see here, it has raised. So wallpaper carousel, I don't like the wallpaper carousel, so I will turn it off, but if you want you can activate it here and if you have troubles with the wallpaper carousel, I can show you what you can do. We go to apps, uh, then to manage apps. And here we tap wall paper carousel 
Mm, let's click on show all apps, wallpaper, carousel. As you can see here, you can just tap on uninstall and the wallpaper carousel is uninstalled. Let's go SIM card to SIM cards and here we go to default calls. Let me pick up the first SIM and let's go here and select use voice over LTE and make calls using Wi-Fi. If you if your mobile network isn't strong in the apartment for instance you can make calls using Wi-Fi and voice over LTE improves the quality of voice calls by using your mobile network for the connection and here we go to preferred network type and prefer 5G. So let's go to advanced settings. Use mobile data during voice over LTE calls on the secondary SIM. You can activate this if you have uh, a second SIM card with mobile networking on. So if you go and click on this, you will need to press OK. And if I am um, phoning with someone, I can still access internet using my second SIM card. Let's go to sound and vibrations. You should definitely uh, schedule turn on time. For the do, do not disturb mode, I will set up 20, 23 hours, so to call 11 uh, p.m. And it will end automatically switch, uh, turn off when it's 7 a.m. And I will say yes, repeat it every day. So vibrate while ringing, yes, vibrate in silent mode, yes, and haptic feedback. You can click on this so you have haptic feedback by clicking on this toggle for instance and you can also adjust the haptic feedback level from lowest to the highest i will go for middle and we can go to additional settings and set up additional uh, sound settings like tap sounds if you click this one as you can hear it gives some pop sound and if you don't uh, want it just click on this and let's go let's go back and let's go to sound effects here we see dolby atmos is activated it supports dolby atmos so uh, it's better to activate it and use it you can go to your equalizer and set up a custom equalizer i prefer pop so I will go for this one and um, the preset is dynamic you can use video music and voice but uh, dynamic sounds much better for me um, headphone remote buttons is for controlling your volume or your music playback if you click on this and you press your button on your headphone uh, you will um, go to the next song or if you go here you can increase or decrease the volume let's go to notifications and control center 
so here we have the new control center style which you can see here uh, right swipe goes to the, the toggles and left swipe to the notifications you can also use the old version if you don't uh, like the new one just click here and go for the old one the old one looks more yes more organized but the new one is more modern to me because of I have quick access to all my settings including NFC which I used to pay in you should activate smart home if you have um, smart devices let me switch to the POCO F3 here if I go here I have here smart home Google home app activated if I slide here down and go here I can access uh, all the settings all the toggles which um, are controlling my light my PC and my uh, phone chargers if I click on this one I can turn on my printer and I can power on my PC and my iPad Pro 60 watt charger and everything else Yo, let's go here and I can add and delete some of these let's delete this one I press so status bar <coughs> show notification icons I let it turn on because of if I get email here will appear the gmail icon so I know oh I've got a notification so I don't need to swipe down and look after it I can directly see it on my uh, status bar you can also display your connection speed as you can see here on the top left corner I will turn this off and um, you show your carrier when device is locked let me show you this as you can see here here is shown the carrier or the carriers I don't need this so I will turn this off and uh, you can also edit carrier name if you want um, but I won't use this so I don't need it the battery indicator is a great feature usually um, it comes with this battery icon you can just press here and go for the battery inside the battery icon as you can see here or you switch to the third version the battery percentage is shown on the right side on the right corner here are teams you can download free teams on the um, team store like this one just click on it click on this toggle and press on apply got it and now the team is applied the icons has changed here you get a Mio 30 like widget on the Chinese ROM to password and security we go to authorization and revocation so, so why I show you is that you can turn off MSA this is a um, 
this is for um, advertising so you need to turn this off let's do it first I am activating it so I need to press this toggle and as you can see here I need to wait and then I can press revoke and now it's revoke here you have the emergency SOS you can activate this and you if you click five times on the power button uh, your SOS contact which will uh, which you will select now will be contacted automatically so I will show you one more thing I I, I forgot it I forgot it where is it password and security let's go to fingerprint unlock I need to enter my pin and here we go fingerprint recognition method if we click one time you can say press if I touch the power button it doesn't work it doesn't unlock the phone now I need to press and then it will unlock the phone touch works better so I just need to put my finger on and uh, nothing else no and uh, use fingerprint for lock screen yes app lock and so on uh -huh. you can add some more fingerprints let's do this first I've already added I already added uh, this finger so I can add a second time that it works much better sometimes we get here a sign that you have added this fingerprint before but now it works pretty fine let's say fingerprint 3 and OK so let's go to privacy protection here you can see all the permissions for instance the location is used by Google at MeMover these apps are allowed to use it only while in use and speed test needs to ask each time if I'm allowing to use the GPS, the location and the others doesn't have access like on the microphone and the camera let's go back if you go to apps we can click on app lock and and here I can select which apps should be locked for instance I locked my Mi browser and Chrome and I could also lock apps like YouTube or Amazon shopping so um, so that I can protect these apps from my child or from my children for instance I can also use my face data or my fingerprint to unlock it here we have dual apps you can activate dual apps and it will automatically generate one uh, a, a second app of the same app so you can use whatsapp for one sim card and uh, for the second sim card you have another whatsapp application let's go to additional settings then to developer options if this isn't enabled on your phone you need to go to settings let me show you this first about phone and then you need to click several times on me UI version here we have many options 
let's go to feature flex here you will see some experimental options settings but in this case it doesn't show anything so let me go to the animation scale yes like shown here window animation scale set it up to 0.5x so the animations are faster if I go to two times or five times as you can see uh, the animations are slower you can also turn this off but 0.5x is much better than one makes your phone uh, much much faster or the animations much faster so um, let's go further so here you have forced desktop mode you can enable this and if you plug here on the USB-C port or display you can force the desktop mode let's go back here is another feature called memory extension if you go there you have here the option to add 2 GB of RAM storage extra on your RAM. I've got here 6 GB plus 2 GB which I activated here so I have all in all 8 GB RAM Even, although I'm using a 6 GB model and if you have the 8 GB 8 GB model you can get up to 10 GB RAM The digital well-being is, is a really nice feature. You can see here <coughs> uh, how much and which app you use and um, how much time you have unlocked your phone. Let's go to the Poco F3. Here as you can see here 2 hours and 23 minutes and 18 unlocks 28 notifications dashboard yes here um, I can go to YouTube and click on this and set up a time um, just let's uh, let's say 30 minutes and um, I've used it 55 minutes so um, it's blocked now and I cannot open YouTube anymore whereas YouTube here uh, here is it here it is so YouTube, if I click on it, a post, your YouTube timer ran out, it, it will start again tomorrow. So if you are using too much a certain app, for instance, you can set up your timer and um, you won't be, have access to that app if you're over 30 minutes. Let's delete this timer. If you're using Google Pay, I had this situation with the POC F3. Even it was activated on HS HCE wallet. So uh, let me go there first, connection and sharing. Let's go to NFC and activate it. Now here I can select secure element position. If you're having troubles with um, NFC and Google Pay, 
uh, or a similar app which you use to pay in stores you need to select HCE wallet instead of SIM wallet uh, SIM wallet works sometimes okay but um, uh, it's not reliable, re reliable so HCE wallet always works the last one which i will show you is go to about phone click on MIUI version and click on this then to update settings and here you see the option receive updates early just click on this and add home screen shortcut what it does is basically a shortcut on your home screen so you can press here and you go to this screen instead of going to settings then to about phone and so on so you just press here and that's it and by activating the receive updates early you can receive the updates earlier We can go to the camera here you have the old option photo video pro and so on let's switch to the back camera we go here then click on settings and we go to customize click on click on camera modes and we select more panel it was on more tab now we select more panel we go back and select another color here let's select this blue one select it and feature layout I can add or take it out here let's take this out here too let's click on this and let's go back to our camera what it does is that you have only video and photo mode now I can simply go to video and simply go to photo and if I want to access other features like the pro mode or 108 megapixel mode I can just swipe up here and select 108 megapixel and take a picture. To settings, then to battery, then we click on this. On the bottom, there is the option App Battery Saver, and now you can select apps like this one this one and this one and click here on restrict background activity i need to click on ok and now these apps are restricted this means that it doesn't start automatically and it won't show you notifications um, apps like I don't know Copass or or Epson iPrint which you need to open to print something for instance here in this case um, doesn't need to start up automatically and run on the background so you can select the apps you want uh, and restrict background activity that's it.